Hi and welcome to AFTV. I've got Shiloh with me. We've just lost 1-0 to Everton at Goodison Park. And when that final whistle went, for, and I asked you how you feel, you, I haven't, haven't seen you lost for words uh, once this season. Yeah. But this one clearly affected you. Like, what's your feelings right now? Is it cleared up? Are you still like really, really disappointed over loss? And, or you got clear ahead and thinking, you know what? It's fine, we're still top. Do you know, it's obviously really frustrating when you lose a game. And um, yeah, your mind just goes like, you just can't think, do you know what I mean? It's so frustrating. Um, like with the performance, it weren't the greatest performance from us. We had some good moments. We did have some chances. And it's just so irritating that we didn't, you know, get to finish those chances. And I guess the expectation of the team is so high now. Yeah. We've just been on this massive, you know, mad energy boost where we're sitting top of the table. We're on 50 points, you know, five points clear of Man City with a game in hand. So it's like, well, Everton, that's going to be light work. You know, yeah. we don't ever underestimate any team. But I was expecting three points today. I was expecting three goals and a mm. clean sheet. So obviously, I'm very, very deflated that we didn't get that. But I guess on the flip side, when you look at the bigger picture, I mean, it's only only the second game that we've lost in this Premier League campaign this season so far. So actually, you know, it's OK to have a bad day in the office. But as an Arsenal fan, you want to be winning every game. So yeah. what do you yeah. think it's down to, Charlene? What do you think it was? Is it, is it this manager bounce? Is that the main reason? Was it the fans? We mentioned the fans a lot in the, in, um, in the match day live today. What do you think this, this loss for Arsenal was down to? Do you know, I think the Everton fans perhaps played a big part. Obviously, I didn't watch the game with any commentary or anything on, yeah. but I think the fans perhaps played a big part. Mm. They was there protesting before the game. You know, they was loud, they was leery. You saw when they scored that goal, you saw how much it meant to the Everton fans. And the Everton players, I feel like they really went out there today to play for these Everton fans because mm. the fans have been so vocal with how they're feeling about the football club. We saw them flying a flag yeah, across. Yeah, yeah, yeah the so banner, sorry. The club in the, in the exactly. Exactly. So they're upset. They're heartbroken. And then players went out there today, the Everton players, and they really did play for the fans. Mm. So, you know, it gave us a really tough battle. So, yeah, we are, you know, obviously upset about the result. But, you know, it really meant a lot to them and the players really played. So, you know, we was just outplayed today, really. Are we... Is it a big wake-up call for Arsenal? Were we kind of on a... Because I know as a fan, I was like a... Same what you just said, at top of the league, can't be 50 points. Thought Everton, go there, walk over. Well, I said 2-1, but I thought, you know, we'll go and get the win. Do you think it's a bit of a wake-up call, not just for us as fans, but also are the players as well or do you think you know the boys are going to bounce back and they'll be fine uh, with the mentality of the squad so far this season I really do feel like they will come back and they'll bounce back and we'll come back stronger so I don't think this is going to knock our confidence mm. you know I don't think the players are going to think oh you know that's it no we're still winning the league I am still keeping that belief in the team and I believe the um, Arsenal players are still going to have that belief within themselves that they know who they are. They know what we are fighting for this season. Mm. So, yeah, they've had a bad day today. We get back in training and we come back stronger. We've got Brentford at home next. And, yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to show everyone, you know, what time it really is. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.